How's it going, Cody? Yo, my name is Alex, and welcome to a brand new video here of Blue Cooper Motors. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what does the ECT power mode does in this car. When this car came out, some Toyotas and Lexuses were coming with a button similar to this one. As you can see, the button has a power option and a snow option. But in this video, we are mainly focusing on the power. ECT is an abbreviation for electronically controlled transmission. And that's exactly what it is going to activate. What power mode does on this car is basically make the pedal more responsive and also changes the shift points so the car is always on the power band. Right now, I'm going to go test this car on the back roads, so I'll keep explaining there. Going through back roads or tight corners, the normal mode is kind of weird because the delay on pedal response and the lack of power, it's kind of problematic. Maybe when driving in your day-to-day -day through the city or through the highway, you're not gonna feel those issues that much. But when you're taking corners like this, they are extremely evident. The main problems those cause are when in corners the car gets a little bit of body roll because of the lack of acceleration and the slow pedal response. And then in corners that are also uphills, the car struggles to go up if you don't have momentum. And when you brake amidst a corner, sometimes the acceleration is just extremely underwhelming. When you activate ECT power mode, the driving becomes more precise and having that instant pedal response is perfect to go in and out of corners. And also, as I said before, the failing to go up hills without momentum or struggling, better said, it is completely gone. It's basically ECT power mode removes all of the issues that you may have in normal mode with power and pedal response related. As I said before, the ECT power mode is gonna make the pedal more responsive and the acceleration better. So now I'm gonna test that and obviously I'm not gonna be reckless and start doing that at every red light so I'm gonna find a uh, more or less traveled stretch of road so I can do that more safely. The thing is this stretch of road it's kind of short and I'm not gonna be able to do a 0 to 60 possibly so when I go there I mostly strike for a 0 to 50 so that is what I'm gonna use to measure. This is the 0 to 50 time without the ECT power mode. And now with the ECT power mode on. back home but after seeing the two clips of the 0 to 50 time eh, I noticed neither of them reached the 0 to 50 as you can see in the first one the car chokes up a little bit eh, before moving on to the next gear then with the ECT power mode on the top speed was a little bit lower because I did not full send it but the speed gain was more linear and faster Something I noticed after testing the car on the back roads and also doing the 0 to 50 test is that thanks to the ECT power mode keeping the car on the power band, the power delivery is more linear and you can see it clearly on the 0 to 50 test. With the ECT normal mode, the car goes wah, wah, and thus making it a bit more bumpy of a ride. And I say this because most of the time when I'm driving in power mode, the power delivery is very, very smooth. But in normal mode, sometimes I'll have the car feel like a huge push of energy and then it goes as slow as it can possibly go because it goes up to the highest gear. This takes me to the next point, which is one of the most important points because the car does this to save gas basically when you activate the ect power mode it is a bit of a transaction 
between gas mileage and fun driving. Some recommendations to avoid wasting gas are gonna be do not use it in traffic. I tried it earlier this week. It did not go well. I wasted way more gas than I should have. The other recommendation is to remember that throttle response is also improved thanks to the ECT power mode. And thus, remember, in normal mode, you have to push almost all the way to get a quick response. In ECT power mode, you don't. You're just gonna waste gas because you're gonna be flooring it everywhere you go. And the last one is gonna be enjoy every single bit of that wasted gas mileage because that way you avoid suffering later. Well guys, with all that being said, this is the end of today's video. So if you liked that, smash that like button, really help out a lot. If you're unsubscribed, go subscribe. And now that you're there, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Right here, I'm gonna leave you a link to another video that YouTube will recommend you. And down here, a link so you can subscribe way more easily. And yeah, that's all. So see you next time.